All right, yo, what's going on, guys? Koi here. Today, I was working on like doing some Grimjaw stuff. I kind of wanted to like mess around to see if I could get some good traits on them, and that just didn't happen. As you can see, we're already at like 257 pity and swift one. But today, I just wanted to kind of showcase uh, Sakuna because a lot of people still want to know like what are the best qualities of Sakuna. And is he even worth it? Stuff like that. Sakuna is in a fun category because he used to be like the, the grand dog, like the craziest character in the game. And then now he's like not the craziest, but he's still probably the most useful because he does stuff that even most characters can't do. So we'll go through that right now. Uh, right now, let's see. We'll do... Actually, I'll probably do one that I need to do. All right. Uh, let's see. Titan Waves, Spirit Society, Titan. As I guess we'll do uh, Titan. Or should we do Snow? Snow, Titan, Snow, Titan, Snow, Titan. We'll do, ti we'll do Titan. At least it's not Cut Island. Cut Island is the only time where uh, like big AoE characters just don't matter. Because Cut Island is so freaking big for no reason. It's terrible. Uh, definitely revamp Cut Island map. Oh, I t forgot to turn my sound on. <laughs> Hang on. Uh, there we go. Um, much better. Alright, so, uh, we're gonna go ahead and build. And we can build mode off pretty much any character with high damage M1s. I didn't know these guys could get stuck behind the boxes, I ain't gonna lie to you. Alright, so... Let's go ahead and play with Sukuna a little bit. Now, my Sukuna doesn't have a good ability uh, right now. I think his is still in, like, the C or the Ds. So, I do expect him to not do too much damage, but it's a showcase. So, you know, we're, we're just going to go based off of what he looks like now. As you can see, he's still... Uh, well, I'm not going to talk about damage. I can't really talk about damage until, like, we get the re... Uh... I cannot talk about damage until, like, we get to see what the new devs are actually going to do with damage. So those who are watching in the future, just don't worry about this part. Now, uh, we are going to go off of Yuji's moves, and I think he has probably one of the more impressive starter movesets. Because he actually comes with a lot of iframes. For instance, he has this, and then into Divergent Fist, and then into Majin Kick, and then boom into Black Flash. And it's all just a free combo that you never have to stop because he just doesn't lose anything from uh, besides stamina. So he could go into the, that, and he's pretty much untouchable as long as you have stamina to deal with him. Uh, the way that you actually use some of these moves, if you guys don't know, in 3D you can move around when using the Divergent Flurry. For instance, you could kind of like t turn your camera a little bit and then he'll like kind of aim in that direction. I like using 2.5 for this character though because he's got a weird little uh, problem with him. He's got a big problem with this one character and camera motions. So we'll talk about that right now. Divergent Fist is like just a cheaper version of Black Flash with some just time wasting cooldown. For instance, it's got an extra second on it so you could kind of use it to work on getting your other cooldowns. Uh, it's also got a more uh, forgiving hitbox. With uh, Black Flash alone, it's kind of hard to hit. So, yeah. Uh, with Yuji's kit, he does have very low cooldowns. Uh, for instance, Majin Kick is barely 8 eight seconds. Black Flash is 6 seconds. Divergent Fist. Uh, Divergent Flurry, 8 seconds. And then after that, Divergent Fist, another 8 seconds. So... His strongest move is actually his most spammable move, which is hilarious. Uh, sadly, I can't do a lot of damage with it right now. Also has a chance to proc twice. I don't know if anyone's ever noticed that, but with this move, it can proc twice like that. It just, I guess it's with some bosses or not. So, let's go ahead and dip into his mode. Uh, his mode is the King of Curses. And the King of Curses pretty much turns him into Sakuna. If you don't know, uh, that's pretty much how the character works. He transforms into his uh, other character. So he has a few like spammable moves like Dissect. 
it does uh, trigger after a few seconds, and it does some nice damage. And then there's Dissect Flurry, a more like a barrage move, which is pretty dope. And then we have a uh, Fire Arrow. Now, this is where the character gets a little weird, because a Fire Arrow is not like the craziest of moves, but it's also one of his weirdest moves in his entire kit. The reason I say that is because with the way that Sukuna works is if you're kind of aiming in a direction, it should work. But in 3D mode, if you're aiming to fire arrow, there's a chance you can miss it. Same thing because of its really, really small hitbox. It's got a way smaller hitbox than it entails. Because if you look over here, it starts to trigger. Then over here, all of a sudden, it just stops triggering. And then anyone who walks into it just is not affected. So he's got one of the weirdest hitbox moves ever. And, you know, if you do have, like, really, really good ability, Dissect Flurry and Dissect are probably his best combo moves. And then after that, Malevolent Shrine would be the best. Because Malevolent Shrine is what you use to kind of clear waves. Uh, the only issue is my Malevolent Shrine does not do a lot of damage right now. Uh, because I messed up when trying to mess with his money and his ability rerolls. I'm trying to get, like, S+, plus, SS+, plus on him. Because it's more useful to get like SS plus on a character like this. That's all ability and not even fists. But I kind of got fists on accident because I kind of wanted fists. Uh, with the way that things work now, it's kind of weird to kind of say the least with uh, abilities and items and stuff like that. Because it could be better. For instance, like, uh, you don't really have to focus on abilities. Like, for instance, I could have really, really good ability right now if I would have just, like, switched off some items onto this character. But, like, that's not really what the showcase is about. It's about kind of showing off the character and what he's able to do and how to kind of use him. So let's go ahead and go kind of go off of uh, how you would kind of use this guy. So, like I said, uh, whenever you are fighting with them, you kind of want to build up. So whenever you do build up, kind of use your M1s to build up. If you have a different character that has higher M1 damage, I would suggest doing that first. Then, if you're fighting a boss, obviously you're just going to go ahead and spam your moves. Preferably, you always want to start off with Black Flash because it's got the shortest cooldown, which is your Flash Strike. Uh, you kind of spam the heck out of this thing it kind of kills everything in its wake as long as they as long as it triggers it has to trigger but to trigger all it has to do is just touch them it's got a very small hitbox so there's a chance you can miss so for instance this would be the case and that's a full free combo and then you just kind of keep going now, the only issue is if you are a new player, there is one move you kind of want to stay away from, and that is uh, Maji Kick, uh, because Majin Kick is, like, uh, it takes too much stamina to be used in, like, a more, like, casual sense. So if you are a new player, I would suggest just spamming Black Flashes and just kind of working with that because that's your highest damage output, and it's got six-second cooldown. So, if you're just working on getting mode, you have a way better chance using your Black Flash. Now, if we're going to talk about Sukuna, Malevolent Shrine all the way. It's just the best move. It's his best move. You can't go wrong with it. And once you're actually done, just keep using Dissect and Dissect Flurry. This is kind of your best case scenario because you kind of want to just keep spamming. It's got very short six second cooldowns, so it's like not too crazy. As you can see, we're already back. And Dissect Flurry, believe it or not, does a lot more consistent damage than, uh, you know, Fire Arrow. Because Fuga right now is a little weird, the way that it's made. And then just go right into the next level and try. And you could pretty much clear any infinite mode or whatever waves you're trying to do. No problem at all. Now, you could say, but what if I want to use Fire Arrow? That's totally up to you if you want to use Fire Arrow. I'm not saying you have to or you don't need to. I'm just saying, like, I don't like using Fire Arrow because I like waiting for the Malevolent Shrine to trigger first. And I messed up by switching. All right. Well, that kind of does it with this showcase.
I, I don't think there's really much I really have to show off here. I'm going to do my infinite modes uh, on my own with a different character. I'm trying to get, like, Grim Jaw leveled up right now. So, yeah, that is, like, something I am working on on the side. But if you guys have any recommendations or different characters that y'all want to see showcased, let me know. I know a lot of people want to say Ukiora. So I'm going to be trying to get Ukiora. I got plenty of gems for that. I've just been waiting for him to get in shop. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell down below. Stay notified on all future events on the channel. I'll see you guys later. Take it easy and peace out.